So now for delete functionality, let me just uh, first of all fix the code into the backend. So let me just go into the user controller and in delete user. So you can already see on message. So user deleted successfully. So it means so we didn't have to fix anything into the backend. So let me just go into this user.jsx and here. So let me just uh, create a function called delete user. So let me just simply create a function uh, const delete user and let me make it asynchronous and let's pass the user id as a parameter and inside here so let me just type await and we will be using the exist.delete and for url so we will be using the back code here as well and so here you can see this, this is the url for deleting the user and here so we just have to simply pass the user id so just type dollar and so just type user id so once the user is deleted so we just have to filter out the user so whenever we delete the user so uh, we just have to filter out the deleted user so for that so we will be just writing the code dot then so just type dot then and just type response so in response so we will just set the users so just type set users and so we will just set the user with the previous user so just type previous user and so we will just filter out by just typing previous user dot filter and inside here so we'll just pass the user and also we will just compare this with the user id the pass user id uh, with the provided user id so let me just first of all type user id so this code will basically remove the user from the list of users by checking uh, the user's ID and comparing it with the uh, provided user ID. So this is the provided user ID and this is the user ID. And if uh, there's no matching between them, so it keeps uh, the user into the list, otherwise it removes them. So once this is done, so now we should be done here. And also, so once this is deleted, so we just want to uh, display into the toast. So just type toast. Uh, so also make sure to import this uh, toast from this react hot toast and just type toast dot success and here so we just have to type response dot data dot message so in message so since we have set so the user deleted successfully so just type m-e-s-s-a-g message and here so let's uh, give the position so just type position so just give position something like uh, top right and so here just below here so we just have to catch the error so just type catch so if there is any error so we just have to display the error message so inside here so just type console.log and just display the error and so we have created the function for delete user so below here you, you can see on delete button so this is the delete button so here so on button so we just have to simply type on click so let me just simply type uh, so let me just click enter and here just type on click so whenever we click onto this button so we just want to uh, call that delete user function and also pass the user id so let me just simply type uh, delete user so which is the function we are passing and the parameter we are passing is user id so here you can see the parameter we are passing is user id so we just have to simply type the user dot underscore id and let me just simply save this one and so if i just reload this so this is saying response is not defined so let me just go over here so this error is because so we have to uh, make this toaster success just below here so let me just simply save here and also remove this and now if i just save this one so you can just see the code here so we have just inserted this toast uh, dot success inside here so on the response so now it should be working so now if i just try to delete this last one so if i just click here so you can see the user deleted successfully and let me just delete uh, let me just delete all of it and let me just keep only one here and if i just go into the mongodb compass so it should have deleted from the database as well so let me just reload here so you can see so only one data is remaining here so now we have successfully completed our core application so let's try to test everything from here so let me just 
click on add user so you can just say something like uh, new user and just type new at the rate gmail.com and you can just say country and or you can just say something like USA and if I just click on submit so you can see the user created successfully uh, pop up here and the user has been updated and you can just update the user something like new only new one two three and you can just say something like Nepal and click on submit so you can see the user updated successfully and you can see the user has been updated and if I just want to delete this so you can see the user deleted successfully and it has been deleted here as well so there's only final touches are remaining so if I whenever I click onto this delete button and if all the users are deleted so there's only table heading remaining so instead of this table heading so we just want to display something like no data to display or please add user so for that we will be using the ternary operator so just go into this user.jsx inside this get user and just go below this uh, link or just above this table and here so simply use the uh, ternary operator for users dot length so if there is no user so if the user length is zero uh, so we will be just displaying the message something like uh, so let me just uh, make it inside the div and just give the class name something like no data and let me just put it inside here and simply uh, close this div and inside here so let me just simply uh, add heading something like uh, no data to display and let me just add paragraph something like uh, please add new user and so if there is no data so we'll just display this message and if there is data so we will just have to display the table so let me just simply uh, code this one so just press here so whenever you press here so this will uh, show this table only so just select this and just right click and simply cut and paste inside this one so just paste inside here and so whenever we save this one and also so we just have to uh, style this no data display as well so you can already see that there is no data to display and please add new user so let me just uh, bring it into the center so for that so we will just use this no data class name so let me just go into this user.css and just type no data and so for styling so we'll just give something like margin top 20 pixel and also we will just align the text into the center so now you can see so this is looking better so whenever I click onto this add user so let me just uh, type something like John Doe John at the red gmail.com and Canada and click enter so the user has been added and the table is displaying so whenever I click onto this delete so if there's no data so this will say no data to display so please add new user so this is how it works so this is how you can create a fully stack rod application or mon stack application using MongoDB Express Node.js and react thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe I will see you in the next one